Hello there. Lauren Fritz here and I want to talk to you today about postpartum adrenal fatigue. And uh, yeah, I look a little rough, sound a little rough because we got a little baby on the body because she's been puking all night long. So we didn't get much sleep. Bear with me, this is important for postpartum adrenal fatigue. So adrenal fatigue is sort of a popular thing on the internet these days for people to talk about, blah, blah, blah. You can read a lot about adrenals and cortisol and what they are and what they do online. That's not what this is about. I just want to share with you mamas out there that it's really common to have postpartum adrenal fatigue post baby because basically when you have a kid, your body is stressed to the hilt for months on end and as a result your adrenals get taxed. So while, like I said, you can read all kinds of things on the interwebs about how to address it, I wanted to talk about just like the very practical things that you can do and implement right here, right now, without going to a doctor, without getting tested, without taking supplements, things that are going to support your adrenals no matter what in small choices you make every day of your life. So, without further ado, I'm going to start with the don'ts. I'm going to look, refer to my notes too because it's kind of a long list. All right, the number one first thing to do is don't do a detox. When you are feeling super tired and adrenal fatigue, don't do a detox. It's just going to further stress your body. So no cleanses, no detox, no three days of smoothies, no three days of juices. Like, just don't do that shit. Um, your body's already stressed out and when you throw your body into a detox that is just going to put further stress on your adrenals and your cortisol and some of your other hormones so do yourself a favor you can make healthier choices but please do not do anything extreme because that is uh, sort of the theme of the day next extreme exercise so don't start or don't continue working out like a fiend um, you don't need massive, massive exercise to support yourself during adrenals. In fact, if you try to start losing weight while you're in adrenal fatigue and it's acute, then your body's going to actually hang on to that weight. So I know it's counterintuitive, but you'll actually lose weight if you start nourishing your adrenals and do gentle exercise, which I'll talk about in the do's. So no crazy hard exercise. Next up is... Uh, don't drink coffee. Um, <laughs> seriously, just don't drink it. If you've got to drink something with a little caffeine, drink some green tea, which can actually be somewhat nourishing, even though it's got a little caffeine. Um, but see if you can ditch your coffee habit. On the note of what not to drink, also, if you can, cut out alcohol as much as possible. Um, a, a lot of people with adrenal fatigue have some problems with their liver. It, as you know, the liver processes the alcohol in our systems so give yourself a break drink less alcohol next don't skip breakfast this one is hard it's really hard for me because sometimes I wake up and I'm not hungry and I don't want to eat and the thing about adrenal fatigue is it tricks your body and it tells you that you're not hungry but don't listen to it it's all a sham um, in fact it, the best thing you can do is is eat a solid protein breakfast in the morning within an hour of waking up. Um, and even if you're not hungry, it's good to like get in the process of doing that. It'll get your bowels more regular too, which will help your other detoxification systems. And then finally, don't eat sugar, refined carbs, and for some of us, even gluten can be um, tough when you're in adrenal fatigue. I know that is not necessarily that fun to hear either, especially in holiday time, but you will do yourself a huge favor if you don't tax your body with processing those things. Um, oh, hey, little one. Look, there's a little baby there. Um, now, let's move quickly to the do's of dealing with postpartum adrenal fatigue. And again, this is, look, guys, you can go to your naturopath. I highly recommend it. Go get tested, get the supplements, get on a regime, blah, blah, blah. That can help so much. But when you're just trying to get through the day, when you're so exhausted that you want someone to just put you to bed with a glass of red wine in the afternoon, um, hey, then you really need to start with just the basics. And that's what this do list is all about. So the first one is sleep. I know that sounds kind of dumb. Sleep, how? If you've got a baby that's waking up in the middle of the night, do whatever it takes to get sleep. Um, 
go to bed at 9 p.m. There's a wonderful quote, and I'm going to just butcher it, but Sarah Bond Brethnack from um, the Simple Abundance book always says, you know, every woman should get to bed by 9 p.m. once a week. And when you have adrenal fatigue, that should be like five times a week. Just go to bed and see what happens. And then when you're in bed, stay in bed, even if you wake up in the middle of the night, which is very common if you have adrenal fatigue. And then if you wake up naturally before eight, see if you can stay in bed until eight o'clock. Hey little one, I'm almost done. Here, let's get cozy. Now, the other thing that you can do is start meditating. This is like the number one time that meditation is gonna help you the most because it's gonna help you sleep, it's gonna help calm your body, it's gonna help your cortisol get regulated, your adrenaline get regulated, and it's gonna make you feel better. Um, also on the exercise front, gentle yoga is great here, and even non-gentle yoga can be great. Nothing too crazy strenuous. And that's gonna also help your body's stress regulation. I'm gonna stand up for this little one. Um, take walks outside, not on a treadmill. It's gonna be wonderful for you to take walks, take some deep breaths, and connect with your body. Again, down-regulate your stress response. Drink tea. Rooibos tea is great. Some people recommend licorice tea. Everybody responds to licorice a little bit differently, so I don't want to recommend that one. Um, and then move your lymph. So whether you're doing that, sorry, I'm going to sway, guys, because I got this little one on me. Um, whether you're jumping on a mini tramp or you are doing some skin brushing, or you're doing just like gentle circular movements in yoga, um, deep breaths move lymph, deep healthy breaths while you're taking that walk outside, super good. All that's gonna move lymph, again, it's gonna help detoxify your body in a natural detox pathway without resorting to some crazy ass cleanse. Uh, and then finally, just a little food you can add to your diet, green leafies, so broccoli, kale, uh, any cruciferous vegetable is going to be super good. And then broth-based things, so chicken soup. Those are the easy things that you can do. The thing about adrenals is it's going to take time, and your body's not going to be firing on all cylinders until you really give your body time to recover. <coughs> hey, baby. And um, the thing is, too, is that it's simple, and you can do it. And you can start by adding just a few of these do's to your to-do list right now, today, and you'll start feeling better. All right, peace, bye.